Hello. In this video, we are going to look at how to install and config a a panel and host a website in it. First thing first, what is a a panel? A a panel is an open source hosting control panel and one of the best cPanel alternative. And it has a bunch of features and you can install more features in one click from its app store. And the second thing is who should use a a panel? A a panel is not recommended for hosting company or resellers. If you are a business owner or a web developer and you have to host a few website in your own VPS server and you are in the right place. Hope you got a basic idea of it. Now we are going to install the a a panel into our VPS server using SSH. For that, you have to download a software called Putty in your Windows. If you are using Mac or Linux, you can use your command line. All the download links in the description and join our Discord server to get expert support. Open your Putty software and enter your IP address into it. and click open and enter the username and enter your password we are successfully logged into our VPS root if you are in Linux or Mac you have to type something like in your terminal ssh root root is a username at the rate your ip address like and hit enter this is just a dummy ip address you can put your ip address and enter your root password okay now open a panel website and click free install as I am using CentOS 7 I can choose this command if you are in CentOS 8 or Ubuntu Debian you can use this command based on your system I am copying this command paste it in it hit enter enter y for yes it may take a few minutes and it's done and you have to copy the a panel login url and password access the url in web browser copy your username and password We got our a panel installed successfully in our server now we have to config our a panel now we have two software packages ready to install in one click that is nginx and mysql and php also apache mysql and php i recommend nginx because apache is too slow compared with nginx so one click install it may take a few minutes to complete the installation okay done close this if you want to change the port you can change by clicking here if you want to install 
another PHP version or another feature. Click the App Store. You can install the available plugin from this list. I'm going to install the PHP 7.4. It will install automatically. Now we can look up how we can add a website into it. For that, go to website, add a website, enter the domain name, You can choose the PHP versions. Click Submit. We have added a website in our AI panel. Now we have to point the domain into AI panel. In my case, I am using Cloudflare DNS Manager. So I have to make an error code in Cloudflare to point the domain into this server. You can remove all the existing records if you have something. I am not removing this because I want to point back my DNS records into my old server. And I am adding a new error code. Name at the right, that means the domain name. And point it to the IP address. and click save. If you are using GoDaddy or any other domain provider, you have the option to add records into it. And open new tab and enter the domain name. Congratulations, the site was created successfully and this page is showing from our new AA panel server. If you are not getting this page, you have to wait some time to point the domain to your new server. To add your website files, you have to go files section and open the folder getmytoolkit.online or your domain name. Delete these files. Upload your website into it. I have a demo website. And click start upload. Once it's done, you can close it. Click uncompress. Now we have the index file and contact.html and the images. Once you reload the website, you will be able to see the website from our AI panel. And finally we done. You can modify the port or you can make a lot of customization in it. You can use Google Authenticator. If you want a more detailed video based on AI panel, let me know in the comments. If you have any doubts, you can comment it. I will try to reply all of that. Thank you.